withdrawal date from 31st January to 31st June 2023. The majority of our people live in rural areas where there are no banks and there are no even POS. So uh, it is uh, appropriate to extend the time as suggested in the motion. From 31st January to June 31st, 2023, say aye. Aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The way I'm seeing Nigerian Senate and Central Bank of Nigeria, it be like say better fight go soon start to. So the Nigerian Senate has extended the status of the old Naira note as a legal tender to the 31st of June 2023. I beg, is there anything like 31st? We are going to get there, shall. But you realize that he didn't even give room to the naysayers. He only said the ice service. How possible would this be when the central bank is following the CBN Act and also the instructions from Buari? Of course, you guys know, say. Uh, Emefile and Buari now five and six. But wait, come to think of it, all the Senate people, all of them with it there, the lawmakers have been distinguished, they call themselves. Then be Olodo, there is nothing like 31st. June only has 30 days. For those that are still confused, before I will play you guys the video, the role of the Senate to the CBN um, governor is advisory. So for the Senate to take up um, such actions, decision, me, I don't understand again. First of all, they need to amend the constitution. There is the CBN Act, and at the moment, the CBN governor is acting within his rights. So, watch the video, watch Emifile speak on the matter. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you feel about this at the comment section. I'll be right back. He says, Reports suggest that many people want the deadline to be shifted for reasons ranging from the inability to gain access to the new notes or deposit their old currencies. I must say here that unfortunately I don't have good news for those who feel that we should shift the deadline. My apologies. The reason is because just like the president had said on more than two occasions and even to people privately that for us 90 days, in fact we feel it's 100 days is enough for anybody who has the post, who has money or the old currency to deposit it, the money in the banks. And we took every measure to ensure that all the banks were open or remain still open to receive all old, all old currencies. 100 days, we believe, is more than adequate. We called on the banks, we said, not only are we requesting you to extend your banking hours so that you can receive old currencies? But are we are also asking you to keep your doors open on Saturdays. Ladies and gentlemen, the banks did not have any reason to even keep their banking halls open on Saturdays. Neither way did they see the kind of rush that they anticipated. Well, there were normal people who came in to deposit money into the banks. And maybe in the course of time, I'll also give you details about how much had been had come in. So there was no, they, we do not see any reason to begin to talk about a shift because people could not deposit their old monies into their banks. So guys, now we have seen that the CBN is independent and have the power to suggest whatever they want in as much as they are following the act. Only the CBN governor can give the directive to the banks. Okay, let's imagine um, the, the Senate approved the extension, but MFLA didn't give directives. Then, what of what use is it? Eh? What would happen? Nigeria is just a cruise country. Even the lawmakers do not even know the constitution anymore. Everything for Nigeria is just gra gra. Okay, that June 31st now, they don't even know that it does not exist. <laughs> um, I don't know the kind of people will be saying we get there as senators. So the whole thing, that means they are meeting, their are exercise and everything is just rubbish. Any situation at this country now we day now, we will see how they will get over with it. Let me know what you think about this at the comment section.